This is a typewriter. In a way, this is the original keyboard. And Lucas bought it with some of his disposable income, despite it being broken. I mean, why not? It's a display for the house. Anyway, this specific typewriter is a Royal Companion Portable Typewriter from the year older than Lucas's parents, 1955. It has its signature colors, one of the reasons why Lucas even purchased it. It has a gray body with a hint of aged brown. And, of course, its green keycaps that somehow, from the depths of Lucas's subconscious, are recognizable to him. The sound is very distinct. It's the sound reminiscent of a bygone era, devoid of the Internet. Its connectivity, its anxiety, and the pervasive feeling of doom. And it's a sound that can wake up the dead themselves. I think it really does. I think my neighbors can hear it. Shut it. Let's shift things a little bit. This is a modern, unfinished keyboard. What people in the keyboard community refer to as a bare bones kit. Its color, as you can see, is metal gray. And these will be the switches, the heart of this keyboard to be. They are tactile switches, meaning one can feel the activation of the switch. It's loud, but not loud enough that your neighbors can hear it. I hope. Got it. And these keycaps, well, they're green. The main focus of this video, dear viewer, isn't just the appreciation of the vintage typewriter, which I must admit is very easy to do. The main reason for this video is to create a modern version of it, a spiritual successor in Lucas's eyes. It's done.